get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. What you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. The former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson the Spider Silva, is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he can still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys. Anderson Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry. Not too bad. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Perea! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Nice kick. No! 
90 seconds now to go in the round. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Single collar tie now. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Silva. 45 seconds remain in the round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. 30 seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting Ooh. underway. Round one, Ready? not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. <laughs> Big kick lands. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. What a body kick. Under two minutes now in round two. Right hand upstairs. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Silva. 90 seconds remain in the round. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch there. Beautiful body kick. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to man space. Changes his stance. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty Ready? good action over the previous Ready? 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And it's been evenly matched in the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, crisp boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
pinpoint accuracy. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Head kick lands. Nice right hand. Oh, big punch land. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. And they separate. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets underway. Ready? The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice strike. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. A swing and a miss by Silva lands flush. Under two minutes to go in the round. Straight to the body by Silva. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Just out of range with that punch attempt. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Punch over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick lands. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Are you ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Way to hide that leg. Kick. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Two minutes now to go in this one. Right hand punch with the clinch. Big punch lands. Switching stances here. How about that shin? And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Silva gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. One minute to go in the fight. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. 
visibly limping here. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, damaging knee to the head. The final horn sounds. Yeah, it's close, it's close. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Anderson the Spider Silva! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight.